Imagine if women asked for payment for all the things they've done last year, like cooking meals, washing clothes, etc., etc. How much do you think the world as a whole would owe them? 10.9 trillion US dollars. That's more than India's GDP, which is 3.2 trillion US dollars. That too, at minimum wage. So, how can women be compensated for all this lost money? Welcome back to Revolution Read On, a daily podcast where we break down one story from the world of business and finance. Click on the subscribe button to never miss an update from us. Here's your story for today. Do you know what happened in Iceland in 1975 when all the women went on a strike to demand equal rights? The economy came to a standstill. In India, if we took women's labour into consideration, it would account for 17% of the country's GDP. But it isn't. In India, only 20.3% of women participate in the workforce as compared to 30.5% in Bangladesh and 33.7% in Sri Lanka. Now, this is a huge loss for both women and the economy. How can we compensate for this? by creating employment opportunities for them. They can then hire help for household work. This way, the unpaid labour turns into paid labour, plus women get money and the economy grows. Sounds like an easy fix, right? Then why isn't it already happening? Women are inherently considered the primary caregivers for their families. But juggling work and home is difficult. So, most workplaces don't even want to make it easier by offering flexible work hours, childcare services and appropriate transportation to work. And this is despite the fact that our country requires companies with more than 50 employees to provide mandatory childcare. Even after all of this, when women do enter the workforce, they face discrimination, like being passed over for promotion. Now, many problems that women face, including preference given to male colleagues or families' refusal to allow women to study and or work, are deeply rooted in the way our society functions. Since ancient times, women have been relegated to the home. While men hunted, women were to stay close to home and gather. And even though we as a society have evolved a lot since then, we cannot escape this hunter-gatherer mentality. And this cannot be changed overnight. But there are things that can be done to improve the situation. First of all, the government needs to introduce and enforce laws that mandate better working environments. For instance, even though we have the child care provision law, it isn't enforced right now. Secondly, stricter workplace discrimination laws should be created. And thirdly, and probably most importantly, aid needs to be given to women who choose or are forced to stay at home. These women are often the most vulnerable in society as they are completely dependent on someone else for even the smallest of things. Several politicians have proposed putting a fixed income in the hands of non-working women to make sure they can gain some form of independence. The government's Ujwala scheme is also doing this. But the problem is these efforts are too limited. What we need is a countrywide mandate to provide homemakers with some kind of a fixed wage to make sure they are taken care of. Because they spend the whole day taking care of us. And these labours of love need to be recognised as work which deserves payment. You can find our LinkedIn and Instagram handles in the show notes. Happy Women's Day! Thanks for listening. That's your story for today. We'll be back tomorrow.